Hey there guys, welcome back to another ration review and today we have a Lithuanian ration and it's been a little while since I've done one of these so let's check this thing out. Let's get a close look. There you have it, the Lithuanian ration. This one's very similar to the old um, vintage MREs, you know those dark brown bags. It's even got the similar type of tear notch. Um, got a sticker, we have uh, menu number one. Uh, we'll find out what it is in a moment. This is the back, nothing much going on. And um, yeah, that's about it, nothing to it. About the same size and weight as a vintage dark brown bag MRE, so let's get right to it. Let's break it open. And we're just gonna bust right into it. We're not gonna use any knives because, I mean, does have the tear notch. Just like that, we're in, so let's pull some things out. We'll have a really nice um, little accessory packet. Let's go right ahead and pull some things out. Got the famous Lithuanian Ruta chocolate, and this has to be some of the best ration chocolate in the world, so I'm very confident in saying that. We have a strawberry jam, a very nice little container, I like that. We have some black tea. Let's see what's under this. Um... It's definitely something under that, but can't really get that sticker off. And we have a lemon flavored instant drink. This one has vitamin C. Feels a little bit, um, not powdery, but somewhere in between moist and powdery. So I'm sure it's still good. We have some kukru's or sugar. Nice little packet. We have a list of components. And we have some really interesting items. We have some fuel tablets. They always look a little bit different depending on what year your rations from. Very flimsy spoon. A refreshing moist toilet. Little baby uh, zip tie. We have some Lithuanian matches, and if I recall, there should be a little rooster right here, so not sure what happened to him. And we have some blue tip matches. Very nice. We have what appears to be plain almonds. Where's those Panzer waffles? All right, there's our Panzer waffles and um, yeah, the staple in every Lithuanian ration, so can't go wrong with those. Here's our stove. It's a very simple stove. Just prop the legs. Careful not to cut yourself, but um, yeah. So there's to it. Put your fuel tabs, and if you have a pot. So here's our mains. I believe this is some type of stewed pork. pork with rice mash. Very nice. Feels really nice. And here's our flameless ration heater. And that's it. 
All right, guys, and there you have the entire contents of the Lithuanian ration. And I got to say, these rations are a complete package. You have a very hefty mains. You have a couple of snacks like the Ruta chocolate, the almonds, strawberry jam. You have a couple of drinks, those Panzer waffles. And yeah, it's a very complete meal. There is nothing lacking, no complaints. Maybe a little bit of coffee would have been helpful, but it is what it is. So yeah, let's begin. All right, let's begin with the mains. We're gonna heat it up. Gotta get this thing cooking, so let's get started. It's very basic, same as your standard MRE. Got your fill line. This one comes with a piece of tape, so you can um, tape it up like that. And we just want to get that heating element nice and wet, just soak it in. We've got a rock or something. All right, sounds like it's going. Just gonna lean it up against a rock or something. Just let that cook. That's just the initial burst. It'll slowly start to heat up, so we'll give it about 15 minutes. All right, as always, let's start with the drinks. We have our black tea and our vitamin C lemon drink. Let's check out the tea. Nice little tea bag. There's our tea. This one says Greenfield. We're gonna dunk it a little bit, tea bag it. We're gonna add some sugar, just a little bit. And we'll let that steep for a few minutes. In the meantime, we're gonna check out this drink. And as I mentioned a little while ago, it feels a little bit moist. So let's check it out. Definitely a little bit chunky. It's a little bit lumpy, a little bit moist, but that's okay. So we're gonna add, I don't know, maybe Eight ounces. It all depends on you. If you want it a little bit sweet, 
you add a little bit of water if you want it a little bit bland you add more water so I'm gonna give this a little stir yeah that dissolved surprisingly well let's get rid of this trash Get our Panzer waffles ready. Get four slabs. Just your typical Panzer waffles. Hard as a rock. Check out the strawberry jam. Yeah, looks really good. Let's get a little taste. Mmm. Wow, it's really good. Very sweet. Very strong strawberry flavor. Mmm. That is definitely a really good combination. Let's check out these almonds. Yeah, these are pretty much plain almonds. Looks like there's no salt, no sugar. Um, there we go. Those almonds are excellent, very crunchy, very fresh. They almost have like a coconut taste to them. I'm not sure what they do to these, but they're amazing. It's, uh, Wash it down. Got our lemon drink. There we go. That has a really nice natural taste. Very pleasant. A little bit on the sweet side. Like I mentioned, we could water it down and make it a little bit uh, less sweet. But as it is, I think 8 to 10 ounces is just perfect. So, yeah, it's really good. Let's get some more of this strawberry jam can't let it go to waste I always like to give my viewers a fair warning when eating these Panzer waffles these things are not a joke you could actually lose a tooth yeah these things are tough so be careful you don't want to use your front teeth that would be a huge mistake. Just um, approach it with a little bit of caution. Here we go. Mm. All right, I think it's time to check out that mains. Should be nice and hot. It's piping hot, you can already feel it. Yeah, it's definitely got some heat to it. So, let's get right into it. Check that out. There's our pork. And our rice. What I really like about these Lithuanian rations is you have two sides and one pouch. So here's that rice and our stewed pork. So I'll break up the rice a little bit. There you can see some of the juice, very fatty juice, very nice. So we're gonna try out the rice. Here we go. Mm. That rice is excellent, very flavorful, very tasty. Here's our stewed pork. There we go. Mm. Excellent pork, very tender, very juicy. Pretty much melts in your mouth. I'm gonna grab a little bit of both. There we go. Mm. Awesome combination. Really good. You really can't go wrong with um, any of the Lithuanian rations. I can't stress that enough. 
Um, I've been saying it for years, so there we go. It's just really good quality, very tasty food, just like the Latvian rations. The Lithuanian rations are just uh, excellent. Most of these menus are just, uh, yeah, they're perfect. Panzer waffles, I'm not sure what's up with that. Why not make them a little bit softer? But um, yeah, they're still good. Mm. You can see the caraway seeds. Just give it a nice little boost of flavor. Just a really good biscuit, but like I said, I wish they were a little bit softer. Mm. Let's wash it down with a little bit of tea. Let's just squeeze the tea bag. Let's give it a little stir. There's our black tea. Here we go. Not a bad tea, it's a little bit on the strong side, a little bit on the bolder flavor side. Um, the sugar definitely helps, but if you like really strong tea, that is definitely for you. Yeah, it's excellent. Guess we'll just finish the rest of this excellent entree. Mm. That pork is just very succulent, very juicy. Um, the rice isn't bad. It's a little bit mushy, which I'm sure that's what they were going for, but mm. you really can't beat it. You can see a little bit of a uh, little piece of carrot. These are really good, so if you're in the market for one, if you want to pick one up, I'll link a uh, eBay seller down below. Yeah, these are definitely amazing. Mm. We're gonna dip one in there, see if we can soften it up. We're just gonna finish this off. Mm. Excellent. Wash it down. Oh, yeah. I tell you, these almonds are just, uh, even though they're plain, they just have a really nice flavor to them. Just a really good natural flavor. Let's see if the tea made a dent. As you can see, it's soaking wet. Let's try it out. Hmm. Oh, wow. It's definitely softer. Let's give this a try. That really makes a lot of difference. Mmm. Oh yeah. That's some good biscuit. Mmm. Well, there you have it. If you want to soften one of these up, put them in some warm tea or, you know, warm water. That should fix it. And we have the famous root of chocolate. This is some of the best chocolate you can uh, ever have. Here's the beauty of it. You get two of them. Let's give it a try. Mm. 
if you haven't had Ruta chocolate, you really haven't enjoyed chocolate, that's gotta be some of the best chocolate I've ever had. I'm very uh, confident in saying that. It's a really nice mixture of dark chocolate and milk chocolate. It's somewhere in between. It's not too strong. It's nice and sweet. It's just excellent. This whole ration alone is worth it just to have some Ruta chocolate. Mm. It really is a crime to not try that chocolate. Just gonna have another piece of uh, Panzer Waffle. Just finish this jam. It's literally falling apart. That's how soft it is. Mm. And just in case you're curious, we're gonna try out the refreshing toilette. I might try out the stove and uh, just uh, splice the video somewhere in here. show you guys but for now let's check out the moist toilet yeah it's a little bit flimsy definitely smells like lemon and lime it tears apart very easily so it's not the best moist toilet but it definitely smells really good I think that would be what the zip tie is for, but still not sure. Keeps the trash in your bag. 
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This was the Lithuanian ration, menu number one, stewed pork with rice mash. And I really have no words. These Lithuanian rations are excellent. Some of the best rations in the world. I could say the same thing for the Latvian ration. So yeah, excellent menu, excellent components, no complaints whatsoever. Comparing this to any other ration would be, you know, just not fair. These rations are in a league of their own. They're just amazing. So if you want to have a good time, get yourself a Lithuanian ration, maybe a Latvian ration. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I was supposed to do the German ration next, but just been really busy. And, you know, those 24-hour rations take, you know, a few hours to film and even more time to you know edit but yeah as always thank you guys for watching see you soon